Is this the most Midwest cup you've ever seen in your life? Today, I just want to hit pause and acknowledge the fact that life today is different than it was about three weeks ago. And since I have viewers around the world, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear how this virus has affected your day-to-day -day life. Last night, we got a text alert from our governor that pretty much bans all non-essential travel. Basically, we're not supposed to leave our homes for anything other than getting groceries, supplies, or like medical, things like that. Our local grocery store here in town has been out of stock on a lot of really essential items that normally we would take for granted, things like meat, fresh produce, toilet paper, uh, hand sanitizer, things like that. And uh, now that they're getting some stuff back in stock, there's very limited quantities on what you're actually allowed to buy. It's a scary time right now, and even my parents were saying that in their whole lifetime they've never had, uh, they've never experienced anything quite like this. So. I just want to let you guys know that we're all going through this together. There might be somebody watching this video at home right now who doesn't know where their next paycheck is going to come from, how they're going to pay their mortgage next month or the month after that or however long this thing lasts for. There's a lot of uncertainty right now and it seems like at this point the only thing that we do know for sure is that we really don't know how long it's going to last, what the lasting effects are going to be on people's health who have contracted the virus. Um, what the lasting effect is going to be on our economy, on jobs. Uh, it's just a really scary time that we're in right now. So I've got a few car projects in the pipeline right now. I'm actually in the middle of a coilover install. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but over the next few weeks, you know, if I'm not allowed to leave the house, um, my content is going to have to adapt and evolve as well. So if you've been following along here on the channel, I am in the middle of the BC Extreme Low coilover install. I was going to kind of rush it and just try to get it out there just so I could get a video up, but I really want this to be like a definitive uh, installation guide, like the ultimate, you know, how to install coilovers on an E90. So I'm really taking my time with it. I actually ran into an issue with the rear that I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to take you out to the garage and show you the progress on the car so far. Blue's tired. Katie's working from home right now. So here's a little update on the car. You might notice that something is different. Uh, the other day I decided to peel off um, the vinyl that was on the window trim. Um, it needed to be redone anyway. It was peeling up pretty bad in some spots. In the backside had a bunch of dirt and pollen and stuff, so I don't think that I would have been able to re-stretch it. But um, I actually kind of like how the chrome looks with the uh, silver wheels now. It looked really bad when I had the bronze wheels, but I think that with the silver, it's just a nice, uh, it, I think they just complement each other really well. So I'm rocking that for right now. Um, also, another thing that I want to show you that I haven't really talked about, I did this a couple weeks ago, is I reverted all the interior lights back to halogen. Um, I used to have LEDs up there, but a couple of them were burned out and the one that was in the footwell was flickering, which drove my, me crazy, kind of made the car feel cheap, but I'm kind of liking these for now. Uh, at nighttime, I think uh, something about the warm light, I think looks a little bit better to me. Um, and then another thing that I want to show you, I don't know if this is going to work or not without the car being on, but uh, no, it's not, but I'll show you here. So the other day I actually re-enabled these uh, center lights, the daytime running lights, and I turned the halos, uh, well you can turn them on and off, but I just re-enabled these and I thought they actually looked pretty sick. A lot of people disagreed with me on Instagram, which is fine, but uh, I don't know, I just spent so much time on Instagram, I've seen so many pictures of BMWs, I've seen my own car for the past five years with only the angel eyes lit up. And uh, maybe just something about seeing something different. I really like the way that it looks with just the uh, daytime running lights. And these are just halogen, by the way. Uh, they're not LEDs. And I actually think that looks pretty cool at nighttime when they're lit up. Uh, maybe I'll go back to halogen angel eyes. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, I just really liked how it looked. I took some pictures of my car and thought it looked pretty cool. As for the suspension, the front is pretty much complete right now. Uh, again, these are the extreme lows and they're at the lowest setting. Now the back of the car is jacked up right now, so that's why it's not sitting all the way down. Um, it's actually quite a bit lower when the car is sitting on the floor. 
And then also I maxed out the negative camber and I'm probably gonna have to play around with this a little bit because now you can see uh, the top isn't quite flush anymore. Um, my friend Chumile suggested getting a thicker spacer but I think that uh, what I'm actually gonna do is have less camber on it. But anyway, that's how that's looking. And then I'll show you the issue that I was having with the rear. On the top of the shock you have a 16 millimeter nut and then you hold it in place with a five millimeter Allen. But a lot of times with these shocks, the top will rust out and then uh, when you go to use your Allen wrench, that will be stripped on the inside. So uh, basically you, ha you have to take this nut off, but you have nothing to hold it with. So uh, what I did and what a lot of my friends suggested is to uh, basically grab the shock tube with a vice grip and I was finally able to get it out, but that took a long time to kind of figure out how to do that. Uh, well, not figure out, but basically just, I had to go to the store and buy the tool and everything and it ended up being like, way more time than I was expecting, but when I do the coilover install video, I will show you exactly how to get these off uh, if yours ended up being stripped like mine. Uh, one of my friends was saying that it's a pretty common thing to have that happen. Another thing that I'm kind of figuring out right now is that with these VC coilovers and pretty much any aftermarket suspension for the E90s, they have you reusing a lot of the uh, top bushing hardware. So for example, like uh, this piece you're gonna have to reuse, but you have to modify it a little bit because the bolt is a different size, uh, but you still need to take this rubber piece. You use like the stock rubber piece for the top uh, bushing inside the wheel well. So I'm just kind of trying to uh, look on the forums and figure out like exactly what order this stuff needs to go in. The top of the spring, you use this perch and you actually take that old one out. So there's some hardware that you do reuse and there's some hardware that you don't reuse. So it's just a matter of figuring out which uh, stuff that I need to keep. And again, when I make this video, I want to make it like as detailed as possible so that uh, anybody can follow along and not have to go through all this uh, silly stuff that I'm trying to figure out right now. That's it for this one guys. I just wanted to make this video just to kind of talk to you about this thing and uh, just let you know what's going on. Normally at the end of my videos I would tell you to go down and click some affiliate links or buy some merchandise or something like that but honestly uh, the best thing that you can do right now with your finance is just to save money and be sure that you're set um, for the future. Again we don't know how long this thing is going to last and you're going to need uh, some cash on hand to be able to buy food and things. Uh, there's uncertainty with jobs and everything like that right now. So guys, just stay safe, stay inside if you can, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.